Today I'm going to show you uh, my Figma components and how I use them to help me conceptualize my game. I will also show you how I add typography to my game and of course also how I evolve my game concept. Let's get started. Here is all my components that I currently have for my game concept. I would argue that there's tons of benefits of using components, regardless if you're making a game or you just design whatever. Some of these benefits is that you will design faster since it will be super easy for you to iterate your design. Your design will stay more consistent and strict. And lastly, I think making things in components in Figma pushes you into a developer mindset. So let me show you some examples. So here we have my basic hex tile. And if I select this one, you will see on the right panel that I have a lot of different options. And to briefly showcase this, if I make a couple of tiles here, and then let's say I want to show a railway in all these tiles. So this first one should be top left to right. And the last sort of destination, something like that. We can now also add more details. This one, we want to show some units. Um, perhaps we want to have a little bit of forest in this one. Another example is my card. So if I take my master component now and try to make a few cards, it's this easy. Now let me add some typography. I will select these two and since I have this already set up as um, components, it will be super easy. I select Germania 1. For this one, I'll have Patrick Hand. Something like that. Finally, time to talk a little bit about my game concept. The current aim is that you will start at something looking like this. And hopefully it should be quite obvious that your main goal will be to connect the railroad between point A and B. And to do so, you will need to expand your territory and you will need to gather resources in order to pay basically for your expansion. And there will be monsters to add a little bit of joyful thrill. Let's imagine how this could play out. Here are some cards and you buy them and place them to a connecting tile and eventually you will start having something that look like this. Of course, there's still a lot of things for me to figure out. Please let me know what you think of this. Also, since my comment section is more or less completely empty, please just say hi so I know if I'm talking just to a big crowd of bots or not. And lastly, please subscribe to support this channel. In the next episode, I make a complete U-turn after realizing that this game concept I have is way too complicated for a newbie like myself to begin with. So instead, I made something way more simplified. Hope to see you next time.